five of every film I've ever seen in my life, 1940s to the 1950s. If uh, you are new here, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, go out and check my other content on my channel, and uh, subscribe if this is worth uh, what you uh, would like to subscribe to. And if uh, you are a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. Let's get into every film I've ever seen in my life. Part 5, 1940s to the 1950s. Up first is The Shop Around the Corner with James Stewart. This is actually the original When You Got Mail that uh, stars Tom Hanks in the 90s. And then we have His Girl Friday. We have Pinocchio, probably one of my favorite uh, animated uh, Disney movies. We have The Grapes of Wrath, Rebecca, which is one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock films. We have Errol Flynn's The Seahawk, one of my favorite swashbuckling films. Uh, probably one of my also favorite um, movie themes of all time, too. It is amazing. Um, and then we have my one of my favorite Charlie Chaplin movies, The Great Dictator. My favorite Zorro film of all time, The Mark of Zorro. The Devil Bat. Fantasia, The Letter, The Philadelphia Story, Go West, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, Buck Privates, The Lady Eve, Road to Zanbir, That Uncertain Feeling, The Invisible Ghost, Citizen Kane, directed and starring uh, Orson Welles, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, also, it was uh, made into a based off film uh, called Mank. One of the writers of uh, Citizen Kane. It's actually on Netflix if you want to check that out. It's a great film as well. Uh, we have The King of Zombies, Sergeant York, The Maltese Falcon, Dumbo, Suspicion, Sullivan's Travels, and the we up next, uh, we have The Wolfman. Uh, it's uh, the original, and it's really, really good. I highly recommend it. It's uh, fantastic the way they do the effects and stuff for uh, The Wolfman. It's absolutely amazing. And then we have probably one of the greatest films of all time, Casa Blanca with Humphrey Bogart. Oh, my word. This movie is fantastic. You can't... You obviously got, can't go wrong with this because it's uh, iconic with... Uh, uh, here's looking at you kid line and uh, so many great scenes if you have never seen this movie it is fantastic it's a definite must see then we have to be or not to be Hitchcock's saboteur Yankee Doodle Dandy with James Cagney Orson Welles the magnificent Ambersons Holiday Inn which is one of my favorite um Christmas movies, um, and it's actually the movie that inspired the film White Christmas, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, and if I'm not mistaken, it's actually my favorite Christmas movie ever. Um, and then we have Bambi, Salados Amigos, Sherlock Holmes and the Voice of Terror, one of my personal favorites, Now Voyager, The Expo Incident, Cat People, December 7th, which is a documentary, early documentary of uh, Pearl Harbor. Journey into Fear with Orson Welles again. Shadow of a Doubt with Alfred Hitchcock. King of the Cowboys with Roy Rogers. The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Song of Texas. This is the Army, one of the earliest films I've seen with actually Ronald Reagan. It's a fantastic musical too um, and another musical is with Blue Seal Ball the best foot forward then we have Orson Welles again with uh, Jane Eyre probably my favorite version of Jane Eyre Alfred Hitchcock's lifeboat uh, you can uh, tell there's a lot of Orson Welles and Hitchcock's in here um, and then we have Gene Kelly's cover girl Going My Way which uh, is a uh, movie with Bing Cosby um, and is a best picture winner and uh, then next we have Cowboy and the Senorita, Double Indemnity, The Three Caballeros, and then we have one of my personal favorite comedies, 
arsenic and old lace with Cary Grant. This movie is hilarious. Um, the antics that happen, the quick dialogue, the um, hilarity of uh, death and uh, life. It's just kind of kind of a quirky movie. It's absolutely hilarious. I highly recommend it. Arsenic and old lace. Um, then we have Laura, Judy Garland's Meet Me in St. Louis, which is a fantastic musical. National Velvet, Children of the Paradise, Bells of Rosarita, Anchors Away with Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly, a fantastic musical. Can never seem to go wrong with uh, Gene Kelly, pretty much. Um, Christmas in Connecticut, another Christmas film. Kind of not a fan. It's fine for what it is, but then we have State Fair, Rome Open City, Spellbound, Fallen Angel, uh, we have Detour, Brief Encounter, another personal favorite of mine, Judy Garland's The Harvey Girls, I'm a big fan of musicals, it's uh, <laughs> kind of uh, funny, but um, yeah, Harvey Girls, it's a highly recommended film for me. Um, the Stranger with Orson Welles. <laughs> we have My Pal Trigger. And then we have Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious. I'm a huge fan of uh, Alfred Hitchcock. And then we have The Big Sleep, Under Nevada Skies, A Matter of Life and Death, Song of the South, which is a very controversial uh film from Disney, which they don't even have on DVD or anything, but um, you can actually find it on the, uh, I believe it's the U.S. Congress uh, website, uh, where they have like a bunch of rare films, and uh, you can actually watch it there if uh, you're interested in ever seeing it. Um, and then we have a very depressing but sad film called The Best Years of Our Lives, where it's about um, soldiers coming home. Uh, it's uh, kind of tough to see how it was back in the day still now. Then we have Till the Clouds Roll By. Then we have probably one of the greatest uh, Christmas movies. And not just one of the greatest Christmas movies, but one of the greatest films of all time. It's a Wonderful Life with James Stewart. If you haven't seen it, I won't say anything about it because I'll let you go in blind. It is fantastic. Then we have my favorite Burnett. It happened on Fifth Avenue. Monsieur Vadu, Black Narcissus, Miracle on 34th Street, a fantastic Christmas slash courtroom drama about uh, is Santa Claus real or not. It's uh, really, 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 really good. Um, then we have a personal favorite of mine, Fun and Fancy Free from Disney uh, Animation. We have Out of the Past, The Bishop's Wife, The Lady from Shanghai, the Paradigm Case, The Treasure of Sierra Madre, which is so iconic and so good. It's absolutely amazing. And then we have Drunken Angel by Akira Kurosawa. We have Gene Kelly's The Pirate, Abbott and Costello's Fr Meets Cast uh, Frankenstein, Easter Parade, Key Largo, The Red Shoes, a personal Alfred Hitchcock favorite of mine, Rope with James Stewart, done in what is made to look like it's done in uh, one take, one shot, kind of like 1917. Um, fantastic movie about two guys who have murdered a um, man and are uh, being for the best way to uh, get out of it. It's a really good movie. Then we have Red River with John Wayne, The Time of Your Life. The Three Musketeers with Gene Kelly, Bicycle Thieves, Words and Music, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, again with Gene Kelly. We have the 1940s Little Women, which is really good. We have a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, Kind Hearts and Coronets, Too Late for Tears, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon with John Wayne. We have I Was a Mail Order Bride. We have The Third Man, which is probably one of the most iconic Orson Welles film 
films of all time. It's absolutely fantastic. Not as good as Citizen Kane, but still fantastic. We have James Cagney's White Heat. We have Alfred Hitchcock's Under Capricorn. We have Late Spring. Ichabob and Mr. Toad. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And then we have Gene Kelly's On the Town which is a personal favorite musical of mine. And we have Danny Kaye's The Inspector General, which I am not a huge fan of, but Danny Kaye is hilarious as always. And with that quick-witted humor, it is fantastic. So it's actually kind of worth seeing uh, enough for just Danny Kaye. And that was what I saw for the first time in February of 2021. If uh, you are new here and you... Uh, Stay till the uh, end of this video. I appreciate it. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. Give this video a like and uh, comment down below of uh, what was uh, the most interesting selection to you. And uh, if again, if you are new here, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. it would help me out. And uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for watching. Stay random, guys.